your unique experience. Hey, Jai. Hey, good morning to you, Kel, and good morning to you, Chris. Hey, check this out. We're, we're literally, you know, the great thing about the butterfly exhibit here at Pearl Ridge Center is you literally see, I think I got one in my ear, and it just left. Uh, you literally see sort of the life cycle of a butterfly. So uh, you start with egg, and then boom, here you go. This is the second sort of stage, if you will. That's the caterpillar uh, that's eating right now. I, I want to welcome in Tom Cleveger. He's the butterfly guy to tell us more about the stages. Tom, if you don't mind me asking, okay, so I've got the caterpillar. Yep. Where does the caterpillar go from here? And I guess the great news is, at this exhibit, you really get a chance to see all stages of butterfly. Absolutely. Um, our growers here on the island work very hard to help us make sure that we have plenty of caterpillars uh, and chrysalis. And so as you come through the day, you'll see the whole cycle. And you know, caterpillars love to eat and eat and eat and eat that's and That's what grow. they do. That's what they do. And so uh, that's what this gentleman here is doing. And then what they'll do is climb up and they actually form a little J. And that's when you know they're going to turn to the next stage, which is the chrysalis. It's about seven to 10 days between stages. Okay. Uh, inside the chrysalis is where the metamorphosis takes place, and that's where a caterpillar becomes a butterfly. And I was going to say, Tom, when we look at those two little green chrysalises, actually, actually, I guess more than that, but that butterfly that's there, this is a brand new butterfly that we're watching. I mean, it has yeah. only been in existence for a few hours. Uh, probably even less than that. So when they emerge, uh, what he's doing is he's drying his wings. So believe it or not, that butterfly and all of his wings were cramped up inside of that chrysalis. And when he first comes out, the wings are uh, kind of wet and gooey. Okay. And then he stretches them out and lets them dry. And as soon as they dry, he'll fly to the food. And it has to happen fast because in nature, you've got to watch for birds and other predators. Yeah, you, you don't have long. How long does a butterfly live? Well, uh, butterflies in general live about 30 days. And the cycle on the island here is very unique because the island's unique. So the cycle here is about 30 days. Um, and there is no uh, difference in terms of time of year. You had said on the mainland it's kind of fascinating because uh, they will make their way up from Mexico, we're talking West Coast monarchs, make their way up from Mexico all the way to Canada? Yeah, and uh, the butterflies that start in Mexico, and actually both sides of the Rockies will do that. Okay. Uh, and it takes a couple generations doing the 30 days, and then uh, about mid-summer they're up in Canada. And then when you get into fall, you get a super butterfly that will be about three months that they'll live, and that one butterfly will migrate all the way back down to Mexico. That's a long road trip, man. It's unbelievable. Well, the young people are here and enjoying it, and I want to thank them and moms for bringing us by. They actually have butterflies landing on their cute little pink tutus, so it is super beautiful to watch. Uh, the kids uh, having fun with this. It starts on Saturday. That's going to be open. We will, of course, post on our website at kjoin2.com. All right, back in the Take Two studio.